With the wave of new facilities opening under the Capital Improvement Plan since its approval in 2007, Georgetown County Parks and Recreation has been able to offer more programs and reach a broader range of the population than ever before. Throughout the year, we see full parking lots and fields at facilities including the Beck Recreation Center, Eight Oaks Park, Stables Park, and Retreat Park. Local residents continue to participate in traditional recreational sports offered through the county, including baseball and softball, basketball, football, cheerleading, and track and field. Baseball and softball continue to have some of the highest participation numbers, attracting boys and girls of all ages and from all areas of the county. Construction of Stables Park in the Waccamaw Regional Tennis Center has resulted in a rapidly growing tennis program. Before the addition of public courts, the sport was limited to those who had access to private facilities and country clubs and exclusive communities. The sport is now attracting participants and cultivating talent from throughout our area. Since opening the Waccamaw Regional Recreation Center two years ago, the county has for the first time been able to offer indoor basketball programming on the Waccamaw Neck in its own facilities. This works toward growing that program. But even more significantly, the construction of new facilities has allowed the county to expand its offerings, reaching out to new segments of the population who might not have had an interest in the more limited traditional range of programs the county was able to offer in the past. A child who has no interest in baseball or basketball, for example, may find their niche in karate, now offered at the Waccamaw Regional Recreation Center, or perhaps rock climbing. The county now has two rock climbing walls open in Georgetown and Polly's Island for youth and adults of all experience levels. Kids can also choose from soccer, volleyball, or one of the most recent additions, lacrosse. The number of adults participating in county-run parks and recreation programs has seen tremendous growth. Residents are taking advantage of new cardio and fitness rooms, as well as fitness programs offered through partnerships with local instructors. Adults can sign up for programs and classes including Zumba, yoga, line dancing, aerobics, shuffleboard, exercise programs geared toward helping manage arthritis, and much more. New classes regularly come online as new instructors sign on. Adult softball is thriving following the opening of Retreat Park. The county offers men's and co-ed softball teams. Adult kickball is gaining in popularity since being introduced last year. Adults are also participating in soccer, tennis, basketball, and another new addition, pickleball. After being introduced at the Waccamaw Regional Recreation Center, pickleball regularly draws 20 to 40 people a day for open court play. Additionally, residents and visitors of all ages are enjoying the Waccamaw Neck Bikeway, which now spans 14 miles, as well as a new mountain bike trail that opened this year at Eight Oaks Park. While the residents who built these facilities are clearly enjoying and benefiting from them, the facilities are also attracting a stream of new tourists. The first park to open under the Capital Improvement Plan, Eight Oaks Park, open the door to hosting tournament events and attracting athletes from across the nation. This positions Georgetown County to make a huge leap in the arena of recreational tourism in the coming years. Georgetown County was host to more than two dozen tournaments at various parks and facilities throughout the county last year. These events brought thousands of people into our county. Area hotels, rental agencies, restaurants, gas stations, and shops were among the area businesses that benefited from this added tourist traffic. At the beginning of this year, the county had 17 tournaments scheduled at parks and recreation facilities for 2015 and more expected to come. That's in addition to jamborees, training camps, coaches clinics, and more. A new tournament for this year was the Bass Nation Southern Divisional Championship, which took place in April at the Carroll Ashmore Campbell Marine Complex. It brought anglers from seven states to Georgetown, had an estimated economic impact of nearly half a million dollars, and put the county in line to host an even bigger bass tournament in the near future. An inshore fishing association tournament last August at the Marine Complex brought 142 anglers into the county. Many said they spent more than $1,000 during the weekend of the tournament. Many also said they brought their families and turned the tournament into a mini-vacation. 
The tournament returned this year in April, drawing an even bigger crowd, which Georgetown County hopes to further grow during the IFA Redfish Tour's next stop in Georgetown County this August. The average spending per visitor for a three-and-a-half-day stay in Georgetown County is $463, according to Lauren Joseph, the county's tourism marketing director. Expenditures per travel party average $1,289. One of the big things we see is if we can get families here for tournaments, for fishing tournaments, for baseball tournaments, for anything, they've never been here before and they can't believe what a beautiful place it is and they want to come back for vacation. Also, sports tourism is huge because it helps us to fill up the shoulder seasons, which, you know, it's when way back we didn't have anybody on the roads. Of course, it's been growing and growing and growing, but this helps us to grow it more. We're looking at a tournament coming in the week before Thanksgiving, which is normally one of the toughest weeks to fill up. And we're gonna have the county basically full with baseball teams that week. It's a wonderful thing. We see Myrtle Beach investing so much in sports tourism, actually having a whole department just for sports tourism and providing concierge services. The fact that they are really stepping up should show us that we really need to be providing those types of services also. And we really need to be looking for somebody to invest in more infrastructure so we actually have more beds to put heads in in Georgetown County. Sports tourism is growing across the country. Families will travel for sports. Fishermen will travel for tournaments. Even if the economy is not going great, You've still got families on the road for baseball tournaments, for gymnastics events, for all those types of things. They're going to put their money into their kids. When we bring them to Georgetown County, they are going to come back. Recent years have clearly shown that this investment in facilities is serving to enhance the lives of county residents while serving to attract new visitors who may eventually become new residents.